Hello. In this next part on transformations, we are going to do vertical transformations. So let's start off with you have f of x, which is a basic function. Then f of x plus k is a vertical transformation. If k is greater than 0, shift f of x k units up. So let's take a look at an example. Let's start with our basic function f of x equals x squared. And we're going to shift it up. Uh, let's do two units. So let's see what that looks like when I shift up two units. Written out, that would look like y equals x squared plus 2. Let's go ahead and graph that. So let's take every point on my function and shift it up two units. So I have this point right here, right there. We'll shift that up two units. So everything else just gets goes goes up two units. So here's the point one one, which is now up at one three. The point two four is now going to be up at two six. So that's off the graph, but it would be somewhere like right there. Uh, negative one one will now go up to negative one. It'll go up two units. One four negative. I'm sorry, negative two four will go up to negative two six. And when we connect them. That's what we get. Since that picture didn't look too good, uh, let's let me just graph it one more time. Still looks the same. Notice that your graph has been shifted up twice. So this point went up two units, went up two units, here went up two units. Uh, so this is my new graph right here. All right, so this is a vertical transformation. When I go up, let's go ahead and shift down. Now, if k is less than 0, we're going to shift our basic function k units down. So that would look something like this. Let's take uh, f, let's do like this, y equals x squared uh, minus, and I guess we could do minus 3. So this is going to be a vertical transformation. It's going to be a shift down 3 units because k is negative 3, so down 3 units. So there's our basic function. Let's just move everything down three. So uh, this point right here, down three. So that's my new point. Uh, one, one, we go down three. Puts me right there. Uh, two, four, we go down three. Puts me at two, one. Uh, over here, down three. So if we're one, negative one, or I'm sorry, negative one, positive one, we go down three. Puts us here. Negative 2, 4, we go down 3, puts us right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these dots, and that's going to be my new graph. And there's our final graph. So that's how we do vertical transformations. You look for your basic function, and then if you have a number outside the basic function, like a plus 5 or a minus 2, then that would be a vertical transformation, and you just do what we did in the last two examples.